Right, that's it. I've got to get rid of her. Are you serious? Yeah, she'll ruin everything. Dad's already thrown me out of my room. There are worse things that could happen. It's not just that. She's done this ever since we were little. Turns up, promises the world, then leaves. I can't go through it again. Okay, it's a bit radical, but there is one way you can get rid of her. Remember what your dad was saying? That if you find hide or hair of that werewolf, Magda would be straight out the door. N nice idea, Chloe, but where are we going to find werewolf hair? Uh, uh, I'm just going for a... Uh, uh, no! And then, of course, we'll need a bigger coffin. Magda, please, I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> what was that? Sounded like a... a werewolf here, all over the upstairs bathroom. What? I mean, I don't mind you sneaking your boyfriend in, Mum, but tell him to clean around the plug hole, yeah? But <laughs> bum bum! Go on out! Witch! <laughs> Dad, please, just give her one more chance. And you can give that room back to Vlad. What, just because Mum betrayed us all? Yeah, I did try and warn you this might happen, Ingrid. Ah! Oh! Oh! Ah! Bun buns, it's still daylight out there. I mean, where am I supposed to go? It's not going to work. But you're always saying we should help the homeless. I'm sorry, Robin, it's a nice idea, but we can't have just any old tramp. <clears throat> Homeless person staying in that. <laughs> Hi, I'm Graham. Please allow me. No, I, I've got it. No, 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 no I've got it. No, I, I let it go. No, I, I, I'm sure I can. Look at it. I just I let me. So, Vlad, now we know the truth. Truth? What truth? Not the werewolf hair. I'm sorry you had to find out about your mother in that way. Oh, yeah. You defended the family honor, and you know what this family means to me. Dad, I'm leaving. Right, cheerio. I'm not joking. Either you let Mum back or I'm walking. Okay. Oh, and Ingrid, close the door when you leave. Right, you've asked for it. I'm going to the Branners. At least I'll get some attention around there. There must be something in this house I can eat. Sorry you didn't like the cabanara. Ah. Who's this, then? Oh, that's us at our wedding. I bet you broke a few hearts when you got married. Actually, we never got married. I couldn't see what was in it for me. It's a celebration of love and commitment. And if Dad dies, Mum gets everything. Rodney. Robin. Excuse me. Really? So if I was to marry County, for example, and he happened to meet with a violent accident, I'd get the castle. Yes, but it doesn't look like he'll marry you now, though, does it? Oh, don't all rush at once. Chin up, Magda. There are lots of people who give the right arm to marry you. Yeah. Well, it's the neck I'm after. Mum! Ingrid, what are you doing here? I've left Dad. From now on, I'm going to be living with you. Oh, wonderful. It's the middle of the night. Oh, exactly. Time for your next flying lesson. What? Go out, boy. Fly. Fly like the wind. But Dad, I can't fly. But I gave you ten pounds. All right. I lied. Oh. Oh, well, never mind. Night, Vladdy. Is that it? Aren't you at least going to say you're disappointed? Well, how could I? 
I mean, if it wasn't for you finding that, that werewolf hair, that cheating mother of yours would still be here now, running her ice-cool fingers through my hair. You really love her, don't you? Love her? Whatever gave you that idea? My flat. Ingrid. Yes, you can carry my bag. Sorry, why do you want to carry a bag? No, just wondering. What's your mum's favourite music? I'm doing a compilation CD. What, for my mum? Sad, isn't it? Do you think she like this? All right, Ingrid? Yes! How's mum? What do you care? I just hope she wasn't feeling too guilty, you know, about the werewolf here and so on. Mum's fine. She sends her love. Really? What do you think? So there's your target, Agent Paul. Go over there and get them talking. Find out if the mother's arrived. And remember, act no more. Huh. Look who's talking. What's up with you? Nothing's up, apart from ketchup sandwiches, again. So no twinges of guilt about the werewolf here? No. I definitely, definitely did the right thing. It's just, Dad does seem really upset. Mm. I mean, what if him and Mum were meant to be together? Hey, dudes. <laughs> Mind if I join you? Yes. yes. Thanks. So I hear your Mum's visiting. He's wrong. Hey, Vlad, does your mum like slugs at all? Robin! Oh, right, yeah. Mum's a word. Absolutely. Oh, but it's so cool having a living at ours. Robin! Really? No! You shot with the devil and you'll become one, you fool! Do you have any idea what was in that sandwich? Tomorrow ketchup! And half a beetle! Ugh. Come on, let's go. So it wasn't blood then? Of course it wasn't blood. Maybe you're just not cut out for this, Jono. I mean, what did we learn from all that? Nothing. Oh, so you knew Vlad's mum was living around the Branners' house, did you? So it's true then. The Countess herself has come to town. I think it's time we paid her a visit. Vermin busters. Clever, eh? And you reckon we won't get recognised? No. Hi, Mr. Van Helsing. Right, that's it. I'm going home. Jono! No, Dad! You're just so embarrassing. From now on, you're on your own. Goodbye. Good afternoon, madam. Vermin bus is here. I believe you may have some unwanted guests in your house. I beg your pardon? I'm here to exterminate all vermin. Vermin? Yes, vermin. Pests, parasites. No, I'm sorry. I think you may have got the wrong house. Behind you. Vam I mean vermin. Vermin. What mag do you mean? How dare you? She may come from a different cultural heritage, but that's no excuse for bigotry. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, Magdalene. Call me for free extermination! Good day, Mr. Vermin Buster. I'll put this rubbish straight in the bin. Actually, no. I'll take that, thank you. I may have some vermin of my own, then, too.